wants to get out of there. He's come down on Mike. Mike Wyndham sort of come down in front of him. Everyone's sort of slowed on the back straight, but out in front uh, looks like Bo Peters is putting a challenge on the outside of uh, Braid Priestley. And let's see how he goes down, mate. Oh, big thing. As they go down the back chute once again. Still got our race leader. Out in front is Jason Burns. Not far out in front as he goes into turn number one and two. As they put another one down to the board. Oh, Kemp gets a little bit high out of the Tattlesall's turn. We got a few together. In the night for the streeties, because the water, of course, is going to fall downhill. And it's going to be super slippery at the bottom of Zach Cooney with a slider up to the door of Mike Wenham in the Bundaberg Four. A little bit of hip and shoulder, but casual contact. And Zach Cooney up to second. Yeah, it's all right there. In Graham Pitchfork as they come out of turn number four. Jason Burns through the Tattlesall's turn is going to have a look in for position number three as they panel go down. The panel, here comes Packer back again on the outside, Boof's on the inside, down the back shoot. Boof gets some nose in, but here comes Packer on the top side, out of turn four. Now he drops back and takes second. Brad Shearer in the Bundaberg 30, hot on his heels. They go through one, two, side by side, Shearer on the inside, Martin on the outside, it's a drag race down the back straight away, and Shearer still knocking on the door. And in turn number four, it's still neck is down and takes third position, but it's going to be a bit of a tank stuff and they wrap doors and he's hit the wall pretty much exactly where his brother did. That was very close. Yeah, no, we're going, oh, Ingham, what a push. He come out of there on that bump, had a look what happened to Ingham. Having a look underneath on that title. Oh, oh, my oh, goodness. Which, well, and Grundy's still into it. He's got to watch one it. of the challenges for this brand. It's just going to be about surviving night number one. Yeah, exactly right. As Jennings has a look underneath Neil Caldoulas. Right down on the bottom line, probably where you want to be, but Neil will have a go on the top for sure. As they go down the back shoot once, once again. Shoot once again. Yeah, I tell you what. Oh, the, the right door has just come flying off Dan Cook. And that's fiberglasses. On the outside, Zach Cooney there has got himself up in the four. And Jess is on the outside in the 87. Hopefully they've worked out the little gremlin, Zach Cooney has ducked up in two first place out of the Tattlesall's turn. Keep an eye on that, that car was quick in the first two heats too. As he's just back there behind the 27 of Derek, we got a passing move through the Tattlesall's turn. And the back shoot we go, Carwell is going to get up between Rowe and Booth. Still got Mark Kemp, he's out there as well going through three and four. Back to our race leader as he goes down the back straight. Once again, the glance right. 71, and look at that, straight to the top. TJ Horn goes to the bottom. Watch him get a sneak into this battle for the lead. Right. 61, Ricky Ingham, straight back around the outside of McGee. And now Jennings crisscross to the bottom, goes to the inside of 71, Ricky Ingham. Back up to 30, looks to the outside of TJ Horn, is battle for the lead as well. White flag, one more lap to go. This is absolutely electric. He raced five. Rum City Rumble and Jennings marks his way to the front. There's more contact between Horn and Ingham. And now Ricky Ingham looks to the Wasn't inside. Wasn't able to get a good enough run until then. Turn it just sliding on the racetrack slightly. Jarius, and thank, thank you very much. Takes the race lead. Reedy now and Hutchinson starting to close in to Turner for second. And Turner's going to have his wits about him. He's got two very fast race cars. Yeah, Jesse Martin still holding on to this race lead. And Shearer with a good Good at gets to the inside of the Bundaberg 77. And he still sits in the bottom half of the track. He's trying to get some momentum, get a run. He's door to door with the 77 again. And Martin, a couple of car lengths for Leonard down the back straight, puts his foot down and holds stage in the front. Grundy's going to have one last dive into turn number four. They're going to be side by side at drag race to finish. And it's going to give it to Grundy. Wow. Feature race time for the street stocks, and we are green. There's a good start out front for Zachy Cooney, who jumps to the bottom of the pole line. 
He's going to lead him through turn number two for the first time with Mo Peters and Hopper Suit. Brennan Huff there in the 95. Grizzly's oh. been pretty impressive tonight, hasn't he, Terry? Been there or thereabouts for most of the heat races. But look out front. Here we go. Brennan Huff making a move for the lead. But Zach Cooney with a big block. Uh, you can watch your training, watching Fletcher run that outside. Brandon makes a big move up the inside. Zach Cooney's into three and four in the reverse direction. A little waggle of the tail as he got past Zach. But you watch Zach, he'll be hanging on the back of Brandon all the way home here. And he'll be making a move. Silky smooth and silky fast. I see uh, Bo trying to stick his nose up under Zach. There's a coming down the main straight. So it's, oh, he's making a move up the inside. Now this is a good challenge. Now, now we've got a three car battle for second. That's just going to rail it around the outside and probably take both of them. If you watch this. Oh, yeah, the inside. Mo Peters looking for the inside. He's having a ton of fun. He's running in third now as he gets past the 47. Look, oh. <laughs> look at the way he throws it into the corner like a late model. That is awesome to see from the street stop. Bouncing out of the middle of the wall and still chasing down. It's going to be on. Yeah, Zach Cooney is going to throw absolutely everything for the kitchen sink. That Brendan Huffley going in the back straight away and Huffley a little bit crossed up there. He would have felt the pace slow down a little bit. He's got Jeffries ahead of him. There's going to be a race to the finish. Cooney keeps it tidy and a feature race win goes to Brendan Huff. Zach Cooney. Back the heat, so <laughs> I would say Zach's running first in the uh, club points and so it's definitely going to be still on for the next couple of race meetings. The 62 as they get a chance so it burns. We're quite sure the pitch four had a bit of a stop on the start. Oh, they're together. He can't tame each Derek then outside as they come together. Go for the Tattlesall's turn. Here comes Derek Hamish around the outside. Might have a tire up in there on the number 52 as they go into turn number four. Hamish Derek right around the outside. He was only in juniors last year and stepped up into the four cylinder. So right, Hamish Derrick around the outside puts down Owen Derrick down one lap as he puts another one on the board. Hamish Derrick in the 68 as he comes out of turn number four is going to take the feature win here tonight in the National Fours. Stepping up from juniors, and look at that, um, Zach Cooney as well stepped up from juniors. Juniors is definitely where it is, mate, and it gives you race craft, and you get to learn. Booth, Olive Zilke, Grow, and then Camp there getting the green this time around. Pretty even start. Packers on the inside, Booth on the outside. Booth just going to roll out, I think, a little bit. Packer gets the drive at inside. Rossi Oliver's there as well. It's an Oliver. What two? You're going to leave the door open. As they oh, go down to the three and all, a couple of guys with superchargers and all sorts of things. These, <laughs> that's, look at that row here. Ted Rowe's going to have a run. He's got the run too. A two for one. The Maribor 97 looks to the inside of Booth. You run a little bit high. I tell you what, Rowe is very quick here to really run the bottom. Like, and, and really run it. Like, look, you, with a track like this, you know, you've got to commit to one line. If you're trying to put half, you know, run half a lane at the bottom or half a lane at the top, you're going to get stuck through that rough stuff. And Rowe drifts up a little bit high that time, but still running the bottom, and he's right on the back of Packer. Yeah, exactly right. He's and it's going to be enough. As he comes through turn four, check it, flag at the ready. And Frank Packer takes out the nostalgia sedan feature this here at Carina. flag as he goes into turn number one and two. Ricky Ingham, but he's going to throw everything out it. Cuts that Cravex again. Wind him in there in the back straight. Has he got anything on the last corner? Jesse Martin. Here comes Ingham. He's going to have a look. Has he got anything? Ricky Ingham. One more. Oh my goodness. And Ingham. The second spot challenging for the race lead. But then Ian with a good enough exit. Hold on, Dan Cook back out there. They give me 51 as well, Brad. Really good to see after some heavy contact earlier on in round two. It's 
Stewie Robertson running third, bounces his way from the side of the track. Yeah, so you have a look at this on the high side. That's twice now. He's up there having a look as well at turn number four. Yeah, can't on handling like it was earlier. He's going to have a lot of pressure as McGee and Hutchinson, who goes to the outside of McGee. There was barely a lane on the top. He ran all the way through one and then got to turn two and had to back well. Then when we get vulnerable on the bottom, Luke Grundy's going to try and go to the inside. There's 34. He's going to send it to turn three again. A little bit more cautiously this time. Pretty smooth down the bottom for 34 though, Brad. Yeah, no, it certainly is. Jennings is a little bit loose there up the top. Charlotte's oh. just trying to... The former modified sedan car. Owned by Brendan Bayfield. Down to production, driven by Ryan Grundy. Takes a second. Anyway, great win. Oh my goodness. Christensen comes over.